Hi everyone, this is Python Osmosis episode 49, the screencast that calculates your arithmetic with arbitrary precision. I'm Ryan Shea and in this episode we'll be talking about the standard library, decimal floating point arithmetic. There are limitations to floats. They're just stored in four bytes, I believe, and uh, that only gives you so much precision for floats that have repeating patterns. So um, if you want something that more represents like what you'd get on a calculator for financial applications, scientific applications, um, you know, meeting regulations, uh, you're probably going to want to use decimal. Um, it's, it's in the standard library from, let's import, from decimal, import star, let's just pull everything in from there and I'm going to show you an example of calculating out a sales tax. On 70 cents we have a 5% sales tax, 1.05 times that 70 cents, and we get back a decimal object. So this is 73.5 cents. And notice we have that, that trailing zero that indicates to us that we had four points of precision. There was, you know, two, two floating points, so our precision should be down to four. So if we do the same thing with floating point arithmetic, 0 0.70 times 1.05. We have this repeating pattern, 0.7349. And in fact, if you were to round to the nearest cent, um, 734, you'd round, that would be 73 cents, and this would be 74 cents. So uh, that actually makes a difference come time to balance the books. You might want to use decimal. Uh, also, modulus. Um, if you're doing mods with floats, of course, 1 divided by 0.1 is evenly divisible. There should be no mod. But if I did this with, with floating points, 1.00 mod 0 0.10, I do have what looks to be a remainder. Not good. Um, let's do a sum of decimal 0 0.1. Close that out. So multiply that times 10, which of course should be 1. Um, does that equal decimal 1? 1 1.0, of course, I mean. And that is true. Now if I did the same thing with float, 0 0.1 times 10, 1 1.0, that ends up being false. Interesting. Um, now you can use decimal to provide uh, uh, as much precision as you need arbitrary amounts of precision. You're not limited to that same amount of memory for a floating point. So let's do get context dot precision equals 36. Get context of course was imported with our from decimal import star. Um, decimal 1 divided by decimal 7 And we get this 36 point precision. You wouldn't be able to do this with a float. Quite nice. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org. 